would you also agree that you can't be adverse to entropy? Completely. It's yeah. a fact of the universe. Yeah. You're it's gonna, always going to be there. Because sometimes things have to burn up like the phoenix yep. and be reborn. That's yep. just required for the next evolution of whatever your experience is. Entropy is a deflationary aspect of the universe. So basically what I mean by that is if we didn't age and die, then life would have no value because value comes from constraints. Beauty is fleeting and that's what part of what makes it beautiful. Yes, exactly. Like if we had infinite time to have this conversation, over time, the value of this conversation would plummet mm. and diminish. But because we only have a certain amount of time with each other, I have the ability to appreciate the time that we do have together because it's so limited. And so the limitation, the constraint actually is what creates value. And so entropy in a way is actually what creates value. That's why I say it's deflationary versus inflationary, which is a little economic reference because we live in a time when governments and these private entities that run central banks are basically printing money at will, which, you know, inflates the supply of money and it decreases the value of money. Entropy, on the other hand, is sort of like cryptocurrency where it's got a built-in deflationary system, which means the value goes up over time. 